busted right now, but I basically wanted to take this video just to show you guys where I've been living for the past four months, the perks of international student housing. Um, hope you guys like my shirt, um, lol. But um, this is my dorm room, my bathroom. There was a mirror, like the shower is super small, um, but doable because we had the hot water heater. Like this is a bathroom. There's a curtain. Uh, I I don't know why they just didn't do like the um, glass. It doesn't allow you to like see in because the curtain that they have here is kind of like redundant. Um, but that's the bathroom. Another perk about the bathroom is that we don't have to pay for hot water. A lot of the other um, dorms at Fudan, um, people have to pay for hot water. I think it's like three kwai per shower um, and it only lasts for like seven minutes. So that's really cool. Um, we don't have a squatty potty. We have like a regular um, European or Western toilet. Um, the door is like a touch pad or JK. Um, it's on the other side, but um, this is like the quote unquote kitchen, not really kitchen area, but there's a fridge, washing machine. Washing machine is super, 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 super tiny. Um, uh, there aren't, um, the thing that sucks is that there aren't any dryers really. There's two dryers in the building, but they don't really work. Like your clothes legit come out more wet uh, than when you put them in. I feel like uh, the dryers, it's just like a humidifier. Like it's not really a dryer. The clothes don't dry unless you leave it in for two hours, which is 24 kwai per load. So I do laundry once a week. Um, if my clothes still weren't dry, um, cause um, a lot of places, like a lot of the other dorms have like open spaces outside or students have like balconies so they can dry their clothes outside because dryers really aren't like a thing. Um, so I wish we had that option. So I would just hang the clothes like in the bathroom and turn like the fan on here. Oops. Um, so if you just turn this on, the heat comes out from there. So if I had like something that was still soaking wet, I would just hang it right here. I mean, that's like kind of a little, uh, I don't know, it's like weird, but you had to do what you had to do, you know? Um, this is my living space. You get a desk, it's a bunk bed. Um, I'm actually recording this the day that I'm leaving. Um, so my room's pretty empty, but this is, this is what, the bedroom like comes with it legit is a piece of cardboard so um someone had left this last year it was a mattress pad but it's super thin so i ordered another mattress pad from Taobao. um it was this one i'm gonna leave it for someone else who's gonna be here next semester so they can have it because there's like no sense in me bringing this home um but here is the closet area um, the desk space, I mean, it was kind of, kind of, just kind of small or whatever, but it was, it was doable. Um, I hung a tapestry here so that when people would walk in, um, they couldn't necessarily like see me or see like my stuff. So I did that for like privacy. I just, uh, taped some, um, clothing pins and hung my tapestry here. Um, yeah, and that's really the room. Uh, sorry, they're doing construction outside, but that's it. My bags are packed and I'm ready to go home. This is like the mail room, not really, in the trash room. Um, some of your mail comes here and what you would do is just like enter the code um, that you get from like Tabar or whatever website you ordered from into here and then like the place that delivery guy put it in would open up. Um, trash, stairs, and then tiny little gym. It's very cute. Um, not much equipment, but Fudan doesn't really have like updated equipment in their gym, like in the schools, you know, in the university gymnasium. So like this is like the best equipment you can get here. And this is like 
the lounge area. A lot of people do their homework down here, um, et cetera, et cetera. It's very cute. It's like something that came out of Ikea. Um, and the kitchen is bomb. I haven't cooked in here because one, I don't have cooking supplies um, or like pots and pans, et cetera, et cetera, to cook. But a lot of people come down here to cook uh, food microwaves everything this is all accessible and then you can pay to rent out a locker so people who do have like kitchen materials usually um, rent out a locker here inside and they just put everything there um, but then there are some like spice and stuff that you can take to use but this is the kitchen area super cute super cute so this is where i had a majority of my classes on campus uh, I have my classes in building six and Wenklo, which is behind this building. Um, uh, I don't think a lot of international students have their classes on the main campus, but here generally where I was. Um, I'm also going to show you guys like what's where's like a super cheap place to eat aside from like the dining hall, which is the street that's over from here and to the right um but yeah hope you enjoy also the best place to go if you ever need to print something like if you go inside i think to print like a few papers maybe it's one or two quai but that's where i went to print my final essay This is Jim Bing. This is what she was making. It's about five quai, like the cheapest and like best breakfast food you can get. And then my favorite bubble tea place is Chidong. Um, but it's debatable. Some people say Coco is better, but I like Chidong. And then also across the street is my favorite place to get Liang Pi, which is like cold noodles and like this pork sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys later. And yeah, hope you enjoy. favorite place to get ice cream it's on Dashue Lu it's called Perry uh, one of the places that's really close to Fudan like this street has a whole bunch of like international shops and restaurants coffee sushi like whatever you can think of um, if you're here you low-key don't even feel like you're in Shanghai you just feel like you're in somewhere uh, like New York or something 